Hi there, I'm Mark Ticola, and welcome to Bioshock Part 1. Now, uh, let me uh, preface this a little bit, since I, I didn't do it in my other videos. Um, I'd like to say that, uh, I guess, a welcome to my channel or so like that, but um, I, I want to say that unlike other, once I repeat myself here, I don't want to say it's kind of a let's play or something like that for this. I mean, it is in all technicality and in all actual terms. But mostly what I'm doing is the fact that A, I'm very bored. Uh, B, I have a lot of time on my hands. Well, I guess not that much time on my hands because I work a lot. But um, I guess I have a lot of free time when it comes to actually having free time on my hands. But um, I really wanted to get to just try to re-record something, you know, just kind of kind of get into the swing of things. I uh, thought I'd play something, you know, and just kind of chat while, or I guess chat with myself while playing a game, and I figured that I'd start with a series that I really, really enjoy. And, and I know technically this isn't starting because I have uh, two Castlevania videos up right now, but yeah, what I'll say about that is the fact that I actually had other videos up on this channel. But I did not like the way that they turned out. I, I felt that I was forcing it too hard, that I was trying to be like other YouTubers and Let's Players, and that it just wasn't me. What they're doing, that, that's kind of their thing. But they're all about uh, likes and subscribers and uh, so on like Son, that. And that, that's not what I'm here for. Special. I'm just here to have fun and to just you were born uh, to do really, great things. Yeah, I don't know, just talk about the games that I play and just kind of enjoy you know it. And maybe, you know... If they will see them and you know decide to comment or something like that, and I'll give you know I'll take what you talk about. And maybe I'll bring it up as a discussion for the video. Boy, this is really loud in my ears right now. I don't know if the volume is adjusted well or not. Uh, you can tell me that, whoever may be watching this. But I thought, uh, what the heck? Why not give Bioshock series a try? And I mean the Bioshock series entirely, which is why I'm playing one first all the way through. I can also play Bioshock two. Uh, if I can get that re to record, I never tried it on here yet. And uh, speaking of recording, I forgot to time myself. Ooh, that's fun. You don't want to go too long, you know, you don't want to bore people. Uh, so I've been told. But that doesn't necessarily matter too much, I guess. As long as uh, I personally am having fun, as selfish as that sounds. Um, but technically, isn't that the way it is? Is that if the person on the video is having fun, you're having fun too? But anyways, uh, once I, you know, talk about boring stuff right off the bat here, let's uh, let's just crack into it and have a little fun. So as I said before, I'm Mark Ticola, and I hope you enjoy uh, the videos that I put up, and I hope that possibly you can maybe even bring stuff up and tell me about things in the series that even I didn't know was going on. Like, uh, for example, I... Oh, oh, that was that door again. Uh, like, I never knew that the fact that you could actually skip this plane sinking in the beginning by just, uh, by actually uh, walking through the fire over here, there's a little spot where you can sneak right through that won't activate this plane going down. So you can actually go in and you can kind of go over. You can't go in the plane again, but you can like see it in its entirety as it goes down. Uh, it's actually just a tail half that just kind of sinks underneath a little bit here. Uh, let's see. The beautiful lighthouse. And I gotta say, uh, I love this series for one big reason. And the fact is that, well, I guess a few big reasons, but the fact is that um, I, I'm not a hardcore gamer. I'm not a hardcore Let's Player. I, I don't, like, sit down and, like, try to go, okay, let's uh, calculate this, this, and this, and try to figure this out for a game or something. I, I just play for immersion. I, I play for fun, you know. I just, I, I feel that a lot of games nowadays are trying to cater to uh, the hardcore demographic. And they're taking away from the fact that you really want to be a part of it. You want to see the beauty that they can pull out of it, which is why I love the Bioshock series so much. Is there's so much detail and so much interest and beauty to it. I mean, you lose yourself in these games, and I found myself doing that every time I play them. Like this, just this area in here. Look at that. I mean, you walk in, it was dark. Now you got uh, soft uh, jazz music playing. You've got a beautiful statue of Andrew Ryan looking awkwardly over in this corner. That's really creepy. But well, okay, and honestly, uh, I want to bring something up here. Why did they pick this face to have as a statue? Why? As a weird face. It's gross. He's just like, Ew. 
welcome to welcome welcome to rapture I don't I don't want to be here all right let's say spend like half an hour staring at this guy's face and but man look at the detail I'm playing this in 720p is it 720 or is it 780p I can't remember oh yeah another good thing to note I'm not very technologically uh, smart I guess I only know enough to get by and enough to do this stuff I'm kind of learning as I go so bear with me I know the videos may be rather poor quality for a while until I figure out how the heck to record I'm just literally using fraps nothing else oh yeah and a little uh, little go microphone or whatever nothing too fancy just a little thing Ah, I love this bathosphere which I've made this joke so many times before but I want to say it again because I think it's funny like it's a dad joke thing but they totally skipped out on calling a bathosphere a tub marine. It makes sense, I guess. So. Ah, fire at your fingertips. Incinerate. Plasmids by Ryan Industries. He's like, hey baby, I got the heat for I you. I got the hearts for you. Oh. I'm here to ask you a question. He is, is a, a man, man not entitled to the sweat, sweat of his, of his brow. brow? No, says the man in the Washington. It belongs to the poor. I should probably read the subtitles as I go along. I did that before when I was playing a different thing. Is that I was playing an infinite, and I, I I like to have the subtitles on because sometimes I just miss what they're saying half the time. And the guy in the beginning who was saying um the. A uh, bucking bronco, where he's like, if you want to lift it aloft to toss or tumble, bucking bronco is the answer. I kept thinking that he said, um, bucking bronco is the ticket, and I literally, like, confidently said, is the ticket right over his is the answer, and boy did I sound stupid. Oh, just look at this. This is fantastic. Lorez buildings over there. Look, oh man, we have the the Emmy guy. You should have totally scratched my little sub thingy here. By the way, how are these things propelled? I've always been interested by that. I, you didn't get to see anything around it. It's just a big circle. I mean, big sphere, I guess. Is there like a little turbine underneath it or something like a little fan going? Like... Oh, I bet you that sounded good on the microphone. Yeah. <laughs> the first time I played this, I didn't have the subtitles on and I didn't know what they were saying. And I was just like, oh, this probably sounds important. Which is why I now play all games I can with subtitles, so I never miss a thing. Because I don't want to miss a thing. I'm not really an Aerosmith fan. But I know that song, because it's always on the radio, because the radio only likes to play like five songs. Because they're catering to all those old people. <laughs> to anyone over the age of 30, I'm sorry for calling you old, but... My parents are in their late 40s, early 50s, so technically that is much older than I am. I'm only 20. So, there's a little personal information about me. Uh, I'm not going to go into what my name is, because that I feel is a bit too personal. But, uh, you can just call me Arctic, or Arcticola, whatever you want to you know, whatever floats your boat. You can even call me uh, Sweetie Pumpkin, if you're into that. Um, I probably won't respond to it, but... Whatever sounds good to you is okay with me, I guess. Ah, look, it's Johnny. So what, does he have a radio on his bum too? Or is he talking over like a big intercom system that I don't know about? That, that's an inconsistency that I wanted to point out. Because, you know, that's so important to talk about an old game that's already finished and done from a company that is not going to be around anymore. Service ring. Uh, I should, probably should be watching him die, but... I've seen him die so many times. It's fine. It's fine. Is it someone new? Technically, no. Wait a second. Okay, those are, um, those are, I don't know if they're meat hooks or if they're ice hooks. Oh, yeah, here's something I missed the first time around. That she actually scratches the top of the thing and breaks a hole in it. That whole immersion thing again. Once again, beautiful. Lovely. But, yeah, her little meat hooks were glowing. I don't know if I understand that. Was that guy, like, was his body boiling? <gasps> Maybe the incinerate plasmid messed with his body, so, like, he has coal or something in there? I don't know. I don't get why they glow, but it's kind of a cool, neat effect. Let me out. Give me radio. I don't know how you survived that plane crash, but I've been one question of providence. Blah, blah, blah. 
Providence, Pro Rhode Island. I'm jump on the seat. These seats don't look very comfy. There's no backs to them. Also, they're very curved in. So the only way to really enjoy this ride is to actually just stand. Ah, welcome to Rapture. Beautiful. This is just beautiful. I love Rapture. Oh, a little note about me. I actually, you know what, I'll just use this episode to let you guys get to know about me a little bit. Because I'm assuming most of you are very familiar with this game. And if you're not, I'm sorry for talking over the top of it. But, so be it. I mean, that's what you get for watching a Let's Play. <laughs> and then there's these horribly blinding, or hopefully obvious, walls. Um, whatever. Let me pick up the wrench. Let me pick up the wrench. This ain't no curl bar, ain't Half-Life, but whatever. Let me pick it up. But I thought I'd tell you a little bit about myself now. Because, I mean, you're watching it, you're watching me. So, why not? You are at the mercy of what I say. Gotcha! Can I walk through that? No! I actually can tank that! Wow, I am Jack, hear me roar. You suck it. You can't scare me. Though, games that I'm not familiar with could scare me. For example, there's a lot of games that I haven't beat, like Outlast. I have never finished that game yet, and I am absolutely terrified of it, because... Oh! Here's a little bit about me again. Oh boy! I don't like being chased in games. I don't. I think it's absolutely horrifying. Even though I can see... Even though, like, I'll know what's coming, I don't like it, and it makes me panic. So if I get chased in here, you will have a lovely view of me wetting myself just furiously wetting myself as I start to cry like a little whiny baby going, oh no, please don't. Ah, swing. Swing and a miss. Oh, something I didn't notice. It makes different sounds depending on the material you smack. Not every game does that. So I can't necessarily be like, you can't really be like, oh, well, a lot of games do that nowadays, so I mean, it's nothing new. But Oh, wait a second. Uh, another little thing. I don't normally play PC, PC games. I'm very new to PC gaming. I have been playing with a controller since I was a wee little tyke. So using a mouse and keyboard to me is like using a pencil as a paintbrush. It's just, it's weird. I mean, it can be done, but it's learning from the ground up. Your genetic code is being rewritten. Worst Irish accent ever. But I have headphones on, so like my speech is really muffled, I kind of sound like to myself. So I don't even know if I'm talking at the right volume here. It's almost midnight right now, and I hope I'm not waking anybody up. <laughs> like, I don't know, I'm just having fun, whatever. This, this little fish looks like he just had his cherry popped. Wonder if he still got some atom on him. If the volume's not high enough, just tell me. I'll crank it up a notch or two. I'll mess around with it, hopefully get something right going on here. As I said, I ain't the best at computers, but I'll do, uh, do the best I can. You know, have a little fun with it, I guess. Oh, Big Daddy's. Mm. Before I ever heard about Bioshock, I always was like, what's so, what's so scary about these Big Daddy things? They don't, I mean, they sound fearsome or whatever, but like, and, but like, when I first saw the bouncer Big Daddy, this big guy here, I laughed because he looks like something Pixar would make. He's got big clod hopper feet, he's all hunched over, and he's got a big bubble head. And a drill, which look would look menacing on the correct angel. creature. But, like, he just didn't scare me. I can see light until the inside. first time I fought one. Wait a minute. And nothing is more horrifying, to me personally, than I mean, that big fat lard bum-rushing you with his drill and spiking you in the chest. That's not cool. I didn't like that. Not very happy with that. <laughs> Just kidding, who am I talking about? I was happy with it. I thought it was new. Wait a second. Where did they come from? Where did they come from? Like, if I was from here, if I came from up from here, where did they... There's no door over here. Alright. Gotta remember the controls again. I haven't played in so long. Holy cats. Swing a mesh. Anything in the new mode? No. How do I run? Shift? No, shift was... Alt, spacebar, C, crouch, C, B, M, tab, caps lock, no, I don't remember how to run, 
Okay. Oh yeah, control was um to fill up my uh ah, what are they called? I don't know. Whoa! Dang it, I'm afraid there, baby. Control was to fill up my health, I think. I don't nope! Our turn is to reload that. Okay, that was a waste. Is after him? I can't tell. Oh, I guess F is gonna run. Man, I run weird. What the heck? Oh, I was crouching. Okay. So this is what it looks like when you crouch run. And a lollipop yelled. <laughs> okay, just kidding, I can't stop. I gotta stop. Corpse, search the corpse. Let's drink some booze. Y'all get turned up. Y'all get turned up. Oh, jeez. I saw it coming. I knew that was coming, and it's still... Hmm, this is gonna be fun. Where is he? Oh, yeah. He's over here. Nope, never mind. Oh! Oh, God. Oh, this is gonna be even more fun. I guess I still get freaked out by things I even... I know they're... Uh, I'm still a little jittery, I guess. I'm not very good with games that are somewhat horror related. So you're gonna have a lot of fun watching me jump and scream and scream. Smack! Smack me up. Is he dead yet? I don't know. I still gotta give him a few more whacks to see if he's dead. I think he's dead. Yep. Yeah, he's dead. Diagnosis. Uh, wrench. Uh, death. Prescription. I don't have a shotgun. Any red versus blue fans? Man, my frame rate always tanks right there in the fire. Let's quickly get out of here and not look at it so it doesn't crap out anymore. Whoa, I'm running on past 15 minute marker here. That's 20 minutes. Alright, once I get up here, I'm gonna call him. Call it up soon. If they're too long, let me know. If you're fine with how long they are, then I'll be fine. <laughs> I love that line. And that's because somebody pointed it out that technically I'm not the most unluckiest man in the world. That guy is. Which I keep zapping him. I guess I can actually reach him from here. That's awesome. But uh, he is the unluckiest man in the world. Because he is stuck down there. He either gets to face a fiery death or he just stays locked out of wherever he's got to jump down. So here's creepy lady who has gun for me. Thank you for watching. This was part one of Bioshock. I hope you enjoyed. See you around in the next episode.